Hi guys, it's your girl Jilly. So sorry for the delay in this video. I know I've been getting um, private message on Instagram like crazy. When is that Cancer and Pisces compatibility video coming out? It's coming out now. I am so sorry guys. It's Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde time always affects all the zodiac signs, but especially us Geminis and Virgo since Mercury is our ruler. If you guys don't know what Mercury retrograde is, you guys really need to know what that is. Please watch my Mer Mercury retrograde and why it's important video. Please watch that after this video is done. Let's get started. Cancer and Pisces. Let's look at their rulers and their elements. Pisces ruler is Neptune, the planet of dreams, fantasy, illusion. Some even say magic. Cancer's ruler, the moon, the ruler of emotions, their elements. Pisces and Cancer both share the element of water. So yes, a lot of common ground here. This couple is super compatible. They have the power to make the distance, make a commit, make a commit, get a commitment, make it to marriage, have a family, and grow old together. So yes, this is a really great, great couple. Now, what attracts them to one another? They are both super sweet. They are very kind. They are very empathetic. They're both intuitive. They're compassionate and loving. So yes so much in common. Now, what do they do for one another? One thing you got to know about these two, they're people pleasers. They love to please others. So this means each other. So their happiness is providing their partner happiness. So they, they live to make each other happy, which means it's a very loving relationship. Now, what these two share in common, they tend to be very clingy, codependent, which would bother some other signs, but since they both want this, they're okay with this. They want to spend the majority of their time with each other. And that's great because they both have the same things. They're also very intuitive. All water signs are intuitive, even psychic on most people say. Water signs are Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So because they're so intuitive, they know when something's bothering their partner. So if Cancer or Pisces is upset or sad or depressed the, and they don't even say nothing, their partner knows and their partner seeks to comfort them and let them know that they care. Now Pisces, Pisces is actually really good with this. Pisces lives to make their partner feel better. Not that Cancer doesn't, Cancer does, but Pisces is really more about this, um, which is good because Cancer has a really difficult time um, expressing when they're upset or they're sad. And in fact, Cancer has a really bad habit of running away and hiding into their shell and kind of just disappearing. And Pisces, being the intuitive side that they are, will sense this and go seek to comfort Cancer, and which will make Cancer feel loved and very safe and secure, which is what Cancer needs. The same thing goes for Pisces. If Pisces upset and needs some comforting, Cancer is the first one to run to them. Now, as far as um, nurturing and love, there's gonna be an endless, there's gonna be no endless supply. There's gonna be constant affection and nurturing. Now, like I said, they, they do have that common ground and because they're so compatible, they basically have almost everything in common. But where can these two clash? Okay, this is where they clash, guys. Pisces. Um, their ruler is Neptune, so they're also known to be daydreamers. So you are going to find Pisces lost in thought quite often. Now, the problem with this is, at least as far as Cancer goes, Pisces, even though they're physically with Cancer, their mind is going to be somewhere else, where this is going to start to, you know, bother Cancer because Cancer is going to look at Pisces like, what are they thinking? I mean, they're here, but they're not here. And when Cancer asks Pisces, hey, what's up? Pisces will be, has, which is so strange because Pisces is a really, really, really creative sign, has trouble expressing what they're thinking or they're, they might not even express it at all. They might just kind of say, oh, nothing, you know, because Pisces does tend to be secretive. Um, which is not going to sit well with Cancer. So, can't you know, Pisces has a secretive side to them, which Cancer can not be too comfortable with. Now, the problem with Cancer, like I said earlier, they will hide in their shell and run away when 
their partner upsets them or if they're upset in any way. Cancer has a bad habit. Now, Cancer does expect their partner to chase them to see what's going on. And can um, Pisces will run after Cancer. Excuse me. <coughs> My throat's getting a little scratchy. Um, and anyway, Pisces will go after Cancer. And Cancer will not express what's wrong. And this will actually kind of make Pisces sad, a little depressed, because like I said earlier, Pisces lives to make their partner feel better. So even though they're seeking cancer, which is what cancer wants, cancer will not express themselves. And like I said, this will make Pisces a little bit sad. Now, to the bedroom. These two, um, they actually are very giving. They want to please each other. So yes, they're going to give each other pleasure. And they're never going to want for anything except they are going to want for a little aggressiveness. Pisces and Cancer, even though they're giving and they want to please one another, that's what they live for, they want a little aggression, a little aggression because they are, they're both feminine signs. Feminine signs tend to be submissive, so they're going to want that masculine energy, even if one of the Pisces or Cancer is male, the other one's female, they're going to want some more masculine energy in the bedroom, but they don't want to be the ones to do it. <laughs> So it's going to be more making love, more giving, living to please each other. So yes, they're going to please each other and beca and they don't even, even have to really express it or verbalize it. Um, and actually, I forgot to say this, when Pisces goes off in their own little world, when it comes to sex, no, they're 100% focused when it's in the bedroom. So they're so intuitive, they're going to know what the other partner needs without them even having to say it. So yes, this is a very giving um, experience on both ends. So they will both give, they will both receive, so they will be totally sexually satisfied. Again, I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, the next video series are going to be Gemini. Um, Instagram voters voted Gemini, so Gemini is coming your way, folks. Peace.